good evening guys welcome to Risham IS Academy's YouTube channel so guys this article you can see from Indian Express uh, on a precarious edge so as you know you will know that the chief of the political wing of Hamas was Ismail Haniye his death was in Tehran so because of that I will say in a Middle East I will say that a new एस्कलेशन हो गया है टेंशंस के अंदर एक नया जियोपॉलिटिकल मैं कहूंगा कि फ्रंट जो है वो ओपन कर गया है तो वही हमने इस आर्टिकल में थोड़ा सा स्टडी करना है तो उन्होंने कहा है कि नेतन्याहू हैज चूजन पाथ ऑफ एस्कलेशन दैट शुड वरी बोथ फ्रेंड्स एंड एलाइज कि बहुत मुश्किल होता जा रहा है इजराइल के सपोर्टर्स के लिए इस पूरे एस्कलेटिंग पाथ को सपोर्ट करना क्योंकि इसका जो इल इफेक्ट है वो इस कदर है कि वायलेशन ऑफ द इंटरनेशनल ह्यूमैनिटेरियन लॉ तो है ही एक तरफ बट जो एस्कलेटिंग टेंशन हैं उन्हें कंट्रोल करना बहुत मुश्किल हो रहा है तो थोड़ा समझते हैं क्या सिनेरियो बन रहा है पूरी दुनिया के अंदर विद द किलिंग ऑफ हमास पॉलिटिकल विंग चीफ इजमाइल हनी द इजराइल हमास वॉर इज एट आर्ग्यूएबली इट्स मोस्ट वॉलेटाइल Israel has not taken responsibility for the assassination, though it did so. Hezbollah, uh, Hezbollah leader Fuad Shukr in Lebanon. It is clear that the Israeli army and intelligence have been looking for the Hamas leadership since October 7. Just then, they uh, attacked him. They are living on borrowed time, said Defense Minister Yoav Gellant, declaring that ki Israel will target leaders of Hamas. So, will the killing of Haniye compel Hamas to accept deal to free Israeli hostages? Ek sabse bada sawal. Ya fir ki will Iran get involved in the conflict more directly? Jo ki bahut probable nazar aara hai aaj ki date mein. Well, these questions hang in the air, but what is clear is that Ki Benjamin Netanyahu, after his maximalist rhetoric, in no less a place than the joint session of the United States Congress, has chosen escalation over a ceasefire. Is the question? Israeli leaders in war and peace tend to derive plenty of domestic appeal international leverage and attention by showcasing the privileges, invitations and meetings they can get from the American political establishment. Well, consider this, just like Netanyahu, a leader who has been controversial for a long time in domestic politics and the international arena, made headlines by addressing for the fourth time a joint session of the Congress. Winston Churchill he the jinko ye privilege mila tha sirf teen bari but Netanyahu has been distrusted and criticized for his position on the two state solution by US presidents including Bill Clinton, Barack Obama and even Joe Biden. And he is also disliked by many if not most in the United States even Jewish diaspora as well. क्योंकि उनके लिए भी प्रॉब्लम्स आपकी बहुत ज्यादा एस्कलेट हो गई हैं वहां पे उन्होंने लिखा आगे कि इन इजराइल देयर आर नियर डेली मास प्रोटेस्ट ओवर हिज फेलियर टू प्रोटेक्ट द पीपल ऑन अक्टूबर 7th एंड हिज प्रायोरिटाइजिंग अटैकिंग गाजा ओवर अ कॉम्प्रोमाइज दैट कुड फ्री हॉस्टेजेस सो डिस्पाइट ऑल दिस ही वाज इनवाइटेड टू एड्रेस द यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स कांग्रेस लार्जली ड्यू टू द रिपब्लिकन पार्टीज डिजायर to show support for Israel to appeal to Jewish and evangelical voters. Well, Biden and most Democrats avoided such an invitation for over two years as they sided with the pro-democracy public protests against Netanyahu's judicial reforms which are happening in Israel. So there are those in America, Democrats especially, who support Israel as a legitimate state for the Jews a democracy uh, and an innovative free market but many in the republican party support israel because of biblical notions around the holy land of jerusalem jews and jesus the neoconservatives and foreign policy hawks see israel as an asset in the middle east for america 
example, they are hardly concerned about the incremental death of a two-state solution or a Palestinian state, or I can simply say the violation of the international humanitarian law, which they have to see when they have invited them to the session. Ke liye. So there are also socio-cultural and religious factors at play here. Because according to Walter Russell Mead, one of the most prolific contemporary scholars of international affairs, Gentile Americans are staunch supporters of Israel because they believe the Jews belonged in the Holy Land and the Holy Land belonged to the Jews. The Jews would never prosper until they were home and free and the land would never bloom until its rightful honors returned, which are the Jews, of course, in their, uh, I shall say, thought process. So Netanyahu thus knew that it did not matter that Biden sided with the pro-democracy movement before October 7th and that he could ignore red lines drawn by the White House because he was invited to America by congressional leaders and House Speaker Mike Johnson, who's a Republican. In his speech, he was confident and received standing ovations and applause. He did not appear the leader of a country that is war-torn, with more than 100 hostages still captive in Gaza and more than 1 lakh people in the north of Israel homeless due to rocket and drone attacks from Hezbollah. Nor did he seem to care that international organizations have accused him and his government of war crimes causing humanitarian crisis and indiscriminate killing in Gaza. Jabki Netanyahu ne to yahata kaha ki Israel by keeping Iran in check is protecting you, America. So this would have hit Israelis particularly hard with hostages still with Hamas, deaths from October 7th and beyond on their minds who were not at all protected. And he's talking about protecting America and not protecting the own people. The assassination of Haniye has now made matters all the more precarious because Benjamin Netanyahu has chosen a path of escalation despite pressure from Joe Biden and others that should worry both the friends and allies of Israel. So this is kind of a warning signal. You can see in this article, we have to know that there is a lot of radical support that is getting from them. Or to make their stance to keep their stance. Although in their judicial reforms, the protest that they have said that they are going to be going from October 7th, but he just kept on ignoring that because he knew that he was not doing it because there are uh, leaders in America or yeah, there is established in, um, uh, in, in America which constantly supports Israel in their endeavor which they justified that they are in the Congress that they are keeping the work in Iran in check and they but uh, overall if we look at tensions are really uh, flaring up now and we don't know where the things could head in the future. The time is going to tell and it's very bad probably, of course. So that is this article which explains that death ke baad jo thoda sa scenario ban gaya hai, wo kis taraf ka hai. So thank you so much for watching. And as usual, guys, if you're new to the channel, you haven't subscribed yet, then you can guys consider subscribing the channel. So thank you so much. And uh, we will see you in the next video. Take care.